Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and it's a really bright sunny day and today we're going to talk used cars. This one is stock number SP239A. It's a 2014 Kia Forte Coupe. Let's go take a look. All right, 2014 Kia Forte Coupe. So they don't make the coupe anymore, which makes this kind of unique and this one looks really sharp. Everybody really liked the body style of this one. All right, there's a little bit of uh, dew in the morning uh, on the headlights there, but you can still sort of see the projector beam headlight in there. So that means it's a nice sharp cutoff headlight. You've got fog lights down low. You've got a uh, nice uh, grill out front. So you've got the tiger nose grill, which is what they call this. And then down below, you've got uh, really the air intake down there. I'm gonna show you what the wheels look like. They look really sharp. So you can see the nice uh, big open uh, wheels there. You can see the disc brakes through there. Coming out, this is the shady side of the car. See how well it films? Actually, not too bad because it's a lighter color. If it was a black car, it wouldn't film well at all. Shark fin antenna on the rear there. Diffuser down low, so you've got that sort of piano black trim with a diffuser. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to film it here for you. Again, really tough with the bright light, but you can sort of see it in there. And uh, big exhaust there, big oval exhaust. Coming alongside, we're going to take a look inside the car. You've also got frameless windows, so if you watch the window up top here, I don't know if you can see it, as soon as I touch the door handle, the window comes down just a hair to unseal the window because you have no door frame around the window, which is kind of cool. They do that on a lot of coupes. All right, hopping in. We'll turn on the car here. I'm going to start it awkwardly with my left hand. We're going to look at the dash. Let's see if my camera will let me zoom in. It's kind of acting up on me today. Oh, still not doing it. There we go. We can zoom in there. So here's what we've got. Inside the gauges there, you've got a tachometer on the left, temperature gauge down below. You've got an information display setting or a series of information display things in the middle there. Speedometer on the right and fuel gauge on the bottom of that. Now you see a lot of glare. In real life, I don't see any real glare at all. Almost no glare. So the camera just uh, makes it look a little different. And that's okay. Moving over here, you've got a really nice stereo system. So you've got AM, FM stereo and satellite radio and Bluetooth streaming. And you've got a CD player which can play MP3 CDs. So lots of lots of options there. I'm going to try to zoom out here again. There we go. Cameras just give me some software issues today. All right, down here we've got a manual air conditioning and heating system. So simple, easy to use controls right there, dials and knobs. Hard to film in this bright light. All right, down there you've got a UVO, uh, so not the UVO intelligence that's on the new cars, but this is a, a part of a software system that allows you to play your iPod or your um, iPhone, of course, music through there. You've also got two 12-volt um, ports, one on either side of those ports there. Scrolling down here, you've got what I like to call rump roasters, heated seats. Three levels of heated seats, and you've also got a manual or sorry, automatic transmission that can be shifted manually. So you can put it in drive, tap it over this way, and you can shift it manually as well. So for a coupe, sometimes you like a sportier drive. I'm going to throw the car in reverse one more time, and you can see it's really got a nice backup camera there as well. So you've got all that. Scrolling around to the side here, you can see what the door panels look like. Got some little bit of detail there, that, uh, just sort of subtle details to give it some, uh, some style. The armrest there is soft touch, so you've got a nice soft place to put your uh, elbows. Seats are cloth seats, and they are sort of a two-tone. You've got a gray uh, patterned cloth there, and a darker gray charcoal color in the dark colors there. In the back, it is a five-passenger car, so you can fit uh, three people across there. The center person, of course, is going to be a little less comfortable on a long trip, but you can certainly fit four for longer trips. Got enough headroom, even though it is a coupe. Over here on the mirror, you've got home link buttons, which means you can uh, open your garage door from those buttons there. So you've also got a clock and an outside temperature gauge over there. Back to the steering wheel. Lots to show you here as well. You've got cruise control over here. So those are those three buttons there for cruise control. This button here can actually change the weight of the steering wheel. It changes the way the steering wheel feels. So if you want firmer steering, like a more sporty feel, you can uh, dial it up by hitting that button and you can dial it down just a touch of a thumb button there. These buttons here control your information display. So that's that information display that we told you about in the center of the dash. It's got all kinds of options and menus and you can throw it uh, into different uh, settings right there. Bluetooth controls are over here and you've got your audio controls over there. You do have automatic headlights in this car. So they're set to the automatic setting right now, which means the headlights turn on automatically when you're ready. And I should mention about the satellite radio, one thing that I sometimes forget to mention is you, if you have a, buy a car from us at Brantford Kia and it has satellite radio, you get three free months of satellite radio when you take delivery of the car. Over here, we've got an active eco button. So if you're driving efficiently, you can tap that button. It'll work with you to get even better efficiency. Down here, you've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors. And let's hop out of the car. As we do that, I'm gonna show you a couple things. First of all, the regular key fob. It's just a key fob like this. 
It has a jackknife style key, so that keyblade folds into the into the uh, keyblade, so it's just a fob in your pocket. And this is a remote start, I believe. So I haven't tried that out, but um, that's what that looks like it is. So connect with your salesperson and ask them about that. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this button on the remote right here that says hold, and it's going to release the trunk. Once I release the trunk, I can take a look. For a coupe, you have a great trunk. Let's see if I can get in here a little bit. There we go. You can see it's a 60-40 fold-down seat. It looks like 50-50 in the angle, but it is 60-40 fold-down uh, seats there. So you have lots of uh, space to fold down seats to take long items. And you can drop the seats right there on those pull uh, tabs. Little handle up here so you don't have to touch your hand on the outside of the car. Scratch the paint. You can simply just touch it on the inside. So there you go. Kia Forte. Coop, if you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519-304-6542, or you can reach out to us online, uh, www.brandfordkia.ca, or the easiest way to reach us is the link in the description just below this video. Click that, and that'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks for watching.